Today, let me show you some amazing, incredible, and mind-blowing technologies you may not know existed. Hi, good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and push the notification bell for you to receive new upcoming updates from my channel. As we move on towards the future, technologies around us are also advancing as a result of technological development and innovation. So now, in this video, I will show you some mind-blowing new technologies you might have not known existed. And without further delay, let's head over to my number one. Number one is a new concept bike from BMW, and it is known as Motorrad Vision Next 100. It's a self-balancing bike, and it has many features to offer that you cannot see in a standard motorbike. Its design and build quality are very unique. Take a look. Number two is a robotic fish known as the fin wave. The company behind this wonderful and amazing robotic fish is Festo. It can really swim like a real fish with two side fins made of flexible silicon. Watch this. Number three is the vessel. If you have already seen a real honeycomb built by honeybees, then this architecture built in New York really looks like it. Have a look. Number four is the Blue Moon. It is a spacecraft made by the rocket company called Blue Origin. It is built and designed with a mission to go to the moon. Take a look at how good it is. This is Blue Moon. 
We've been working on this lander for three years. It's a very large lander. It'll soft land in precise way, 3.6 metric tons onto the lunar surface. The stretch tank variant of it will uh, soft land 6.5 metric tons onto the lunar surface. Vice President Pence just recently said, it's the stated policy of this administration and the United States of America to return American astronauts to the moon within the next five years. I love this. It's the right thing to do. And for those of you doing the arithmetic at home, that's 2024. Number five is a skeleton robot that walks like a real dinosaur. It is built and designed based on a 300 million year old prehistoric dinosaur fossil. Take a look at this. Number six is Swipper, the harvesting robot. This robot is very good and precise when it comes to harvesting farm fruits. You better watch this to see it in action. The BGU researchers predict robotic harvesting will revolutionize the economics of the agriculture industry and dramatically reduce food waste. Preliminary test results show that Swipper, an advanced sweet pep harvesting robot, can harvest the ripe fruit in 24 seconds with a success rate of 55%, Israeli Ben Gurion University reported recently. The examination was made by using a commercially available crop modified to mimic the required conditions. The BGU team spearheaded efforts to improve the robot's ability to detect ripe produce using computer vision and has played a role in defining specifications of the robot's hardware and software interfaces. When the robot is fully developed, it may enable harvesting 24 hours a day. The robot Sweeper was developed in a consortium including BGU researchers, as well as researchers and companies from Netherlands, Belgium, Sweden and Israel. Number seven is a high-tech, high-performance drone designed and built by Impossible Aerospace. It's not the usual and ordinary drone you may normally see available in the market today. Take a look at this. Our goal at Impossible is to build the highest performance unmanned aircraft that can possibly be built with electric propulsion. Spencer Gore and his team at Impossible Aerospace want to make air travel all electric and do away with polluting jet fuel. For the time being, it's focused on completely rethinking drone design and built a battery in the shape of a drone's fuselage, therefore maximizing flight time. US-1 is now available to first responders. Our drone is a battery with propellers on it. Its first product, US-1, can fly for up to two hours on a single charge. Just as Tesla had rethought how a car should be built from the ground up based on the physics, so had we for aircraft. Quite a bit more than half of the aircraft's mass is made of battery cells, and in fact the entire structure is one battery pack. Where I think Impossible and Tesla are similar is that we, we both started with some pretty fundamental math that showed that if you want to make a compelling and, and useful vehicle, you need a pretty big battery pack. And I think that what most automakers have done with, with their electric cars and what most drone companies have done with their electric drones is to start by designing the car and designing the drone before they think about the battery. The problem is that with, with most drones that are out there today, you have a flight time with cameras that's on the order of about 25 minutes. What we're able to do is offer the endurance of a helicopter, but with the convenience and cost of a drone. But the company's ambitions stretch far beyond drones for first responders. It is hoping to take the same engineering approach used for US-1 and apply it to aircraft. And that's all for now. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you next time.